Coming up on Mountain News This Morning, the annual appliance buyback has returned to curb efforts to illegally dispose of large appliances. And in honor of National Drive Electric Week, Kentucky Utilities announced two new charging stations for the Commonwealth. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Chas Gayhart. It is 4.59 on Tuesday, September 26th. And Brandon, it's another foggy day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very foggy. Exactly. Welcome back, TV wife. Yo, thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here it's with you. It's been a little while. It has. Yep, but you're right. It is foggy. I just keep there. coming back. That's exactly what can't get rid of it. <laughs> but yeah, it is foggy out there, so be ready for that. I don't know which, if, which is more foggy, out there or in here this morning. So we're just going to keep an eye on that for you. Let's take a look. Low visibility is five miles or less. You can see that from Logan through Prestonsburg, Pikeville, Hazard, Harlan, Middlesbrough, Jonesville, Wise, and Jacksboro. So I haven't been out uh, since yesterday. I got here. About uh, 12 o'clock yesterday afternoon, I've been here ever since. But again, I'm sure just by looking at the cameras outside of the region, uh, across the region, I'm sure it's pretty foggy out there in a lot of spots. Our hazard camera never seems to want to work, but we're one of the cooler spots in the region. 52 Wise, Hazard, Jonesville this morning, 54 Irvin, 53 Clintwood, and then you see some upper 50s and even some low 60s out there. Jackson, Prestonsburg, Logan, Moorhead, and Monticello this morning. Out the door forecast, trying to split the difference there in the upper 50s. I do believe we'll get into the low 80s this afternoon. Mix of sun and clouds today, maybe a passing shower later tonight. But the big story comes in the overnight hours when the rain picks up. Chas? Thanks, Brandon. Well, Lexington is coming off its deadliest weekend of the year. Three people lost their lives to gun violence in a span of 24 hours. The three latest homicides happened from early Saturday morning to early Sunday morning. Early Saturday morning, police say 21-year-old Jacoby Williams shot and killed 18-year-old Demetrius Hampton on South Broadway. Police say Williams is still on the run and considered armed and dangerous by police. Then police say Sammy Youndis shot and killed 23-year-old Christina Fikes before turning the gun on himself Saturday afternoon. And police say 38-year-old Taiwan Pearson died at the hospital after being shot early Sunday morning on the West Main Street. Last night, a man died after a fall in Wayne County. It happened Monday night after 8 p.m. on Duncan Valley Road in Wayne County. Dispatchers received a call that a man had fallen into the ravine. When dispatchers arrived, they used ATVs and a Stokes basket to take the victim to the coroner. There is no word yet on the man's identity or what his condition was when first responders arrived. We're working to find out more about a protest on UK's campus yesterday. From what we are told, the protest seems to have targeted women specifically, women receiving a college education. One protester was seen wearing a shirt that read, Women are property. It drew a counter protest from students. We were sent a video which appears to show a student being punched in the face. UK sport spokespeople sent us a statement saying they condemned the statements made by who they describe as visitors on campus. The Pike County Conser Conservation District is asking folks to roll up with their unwanted appliances. The annual appliance buyback started Monday, opening specific county waste lots to pay people for bringing in old washers, dryers, stoves, and more. The goal is to incentivize properly disposing of large appliances, a partnership with Pike County Solid Waste that organizers say has already had an impact on illegal dumping. Well, now it's getting a little better, and I just hope that people out there would want to keep their county clean. The program continues through next Monday. You can find the locations on our website. New speech therapy services will be coming to one Harlan County Elementary School very soon. Everett's Elementary School will begin using virtual speech pathologists through eLuma Therapy. The new virtual option was approved by the Harlan County Board of Education during last two weeks and is expected to begin soon. Principal Needham Saylor says with the students, the way students are accustomed to technology, he is excited for the change. I'm excited about the opportunity. I think it's something new and it's something innovating. Uh, you've got a lot today, kids, they're used to dealing with things online, dealing with devices, so it's kind of right down their alley. Sailor says they will have to see how well the services do 
before deciding if the online services will continue for future school years. Yesterday marked the start of National Drive Electric Week. It's a nationwide effort celebrating all electric and hybrid vehicles and the benefits they can provide. Kentucky Utilities announced they are adding two new charging stations to Kentucky's public vehicles charging network. It's an addition that not only is excited to share, but they feel is essential to Kentucky's growing presence in the EV community. EVs are growing every day. We have more than four dozen types of electric vehicles that are hitting the market in the next three years. And so there is a big demand for charging stations, and we're trying to make sure that they're out there for folks. Kentucky's Cabinet of Economic Development cites more than $10 billion being newly invested into electric vehicle projects, as the state currently holds the number one spot for producer of cars per capita. And we want to congratulate one of our colleagues. Olivia Calfee won the Rookie of the Year Award last night during the Kentucky Broadcasters Association Excellence in Broadcasting Awards. They were presented during the KBA's annual conference at the Northern Kentucky Convention Center. WYMT was also a finalist in Best Sportscast and Weathercast categories. And thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, President Biden is heading to Michigan where plans to join the Uni United Auto Workers on the picket line. And the forecast will start off fairly nice today before we see some rain chances move back in late tonight. The latest forecast in about three minutes.